it is Sunday and I've got a guest today with me in the car is Andy from Limitations. How you doing bro? I'm good man, how are you? And hello everyone, welcome viewers. Yes, hello to the Dino Days fans. So uh, how long did it take you to get down to me today man? Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes. Not, not that's that's bad. not bad. So you're in, you're in sunny Stoke on Trent, are you not? Um, I'm up that way. I, I'm I'm actually based in Stockport. Stop. Oh, okay. That's not that's yeah. not Stoke. That's not Stoke. Why do I think you're in Stoke? I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I have gone for a drive this morning, and I found a little location to take some photographs of our two cars. But before I started, I just wanted to introduce this guy, because if you haven't already followed his channel, you need to go do that. Now what Andy does is something different to me. He's a complete enthusiast and he is modifying his car, how he wants to modify his car, and he's doing very, very well at it. So well done. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and thanks for liking our channel as well. I love it. It's... We do a bit, we do a bit, we enjoy it, man, we enjoy it. So we're gonna to go to a location where we're gonna take some photographs. So obviously I'm just driving around having this chat at the moment, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna get Andy's car because as you can tell, he's not driving it right now. This week at Dino Days, I don't know whether you've seen any of the videos that I've posted, but this week at Dino Days, we've mapped some EP3s that have been really, really, really good. Even though the weather is hot and it is a scorching day today, it's isn't it? Today, it's isn't bloody it? hot. And I just mentioned before we started this video that I've got no aircon. <laughs> now, it probably is in there somewhere, but it doesn't work, so it definitely needs regassing. And I actually made a video of me reviewing this car and only uploaded it today. I completely forgot to mention that I sweat my balls off in here. <laughs> Especially when the windows go up. Man, it's, it is pretty, pretty hot. They do get hot, these cars. It's the K20 engine, man. They, yeah. run, they run hot. They run hot. So, um, so yeah, we did some EP3s this week and it was bloody hot and they did well even considering the heat um, in the in the dyno cell, the heat, the ambient temperatures. It was a sweaty, sweaty, buggy week. Yeah, not been a nice. No, no. But we have had some really, really nice cars, man. And we had a uh, an EJK20 swap, a bit like your mates from work. Yes, Jay's. Jay's. That you had on the channel. That's yeah. right. We had that on the channel, a bit like that one. Uh, the Captain's Honda, I follow him on Instagram, this guy, and his car's absolutely lovely. So ch go check that video out if you haven't already checked it out. And um, pretty much what we're going to do, I think, is for the rest of this video, we're probably just going to take photographs and chat shit. So I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's some of my best content. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's nice to have a crossover, and it's nice to have a, fe a fellow enthusiast and YouTuber with me to, um, to have a bit of a chat so I'm not on my own. And it's been really nice to be invited down and take part in this review, so thank you. Hey, I, you're, I, I appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. And I hopefully, I've got something to give you, by the way. I've got, and it's not my penis. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, a Kai, it's, they're from Kaiser, they're bonnet razors. Now, I know you've been having trouble with some bonnet razors recently. I have. If any of you... Struts. Bonnet struts. struts. Yeah. Bonnet struts. So I, I, I bought some, um, guys, if you don't know, um, from Amazon specifically for the FN2. They were red, so they matched the car, but it'd be great. Now, before I install them, just to give you a quick sort of rundown on them, they were really, like, the, the pressure on them was really tense, and I just thought, okay, well, they're new, we'll install them. Sure. Don't get them from Amazon, because all it did was push my bonnet up, like the bonnet was on risers. Well, I'm wondering, now, I've seen these. Now, these are these are from a company called Kaizen, and I bought them for my vehicle, but I've actually seen and, and, and understood what you were talking about on your video. And I need you to compare that with these ones to tell me whether they're the same. Because ultimately, they might just be exactly the same. Mm. Might just be exactly the same. But I'm hoping, I am hoping that you get on with them much better. Because I wasn't particularly going to change the aesthetics of my car. And if they were to have a problem, then obviously I'm going to let you find out. Cheers. If you don't like them, you can put them in the bin. <laughs> and that's as that's as uh, pretty much as straightforward as it gets. So yes, so we're going to um, we've arrived at the location where I like to take some photographs. So what we're actually going to do now is have a bit of a chat, then go and get Andy's car, come back here, and then we're going to take some photographs of the pair of them together. Now my car's clean. It is very, but it's not. Clean. 
It's not, it's not, man. Thanks for being so <laughs> nice to no, me. Yeah. Thanks for being so nice to me. It's literally just clean, as in it has had a wash. It's not as shiny as your car. And when that arrived outside my house, well, that's one one hell of a clean car. It looks good from a distance. Does it? To be fair, okay. up, up close, definitely wants a front bumper respray. It was like that when I bought it. I bought my car in November, just gone. So I'm quite still new to the FN. All right, okay. And, and the Honda yeah. Well, I've had twelve you months. Know. I've had twelve months in the FN, but I've um, I've experienced a lot of Hondas over the years. Yeah, experienced yeah. a lot of Hondas. But yeah, okay. So um, let's go and take some photographs. Awesome. Well, there we go. We have parked up, me and Andy, and we have uh, we've started taking some photographs. Um, now, as you guys know, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so you could all tell me that the angles are wrong if that's what you want. But uh, what a great, what a great red Civic that is. What do you reckon, guys? I love his front grille. This front splitter, you know what I'm talking about. Well, there's a nice little touch. See if you can find the hidden dino day sticker. A hidden dino day sticker? Hidden dino day sticker on there. Okay, well, let's have a look around her. She's very shiny, my friend. Thank you. Is that a genuine wing? It's a custom wing. A custom wing. Anybody to shame me on it because I couldn't find anyone to paint it, so I had to do it myself with rattle cans. Oh, I think that looks awesome for rattle cans, man. They're so pretty, aren't they? Red ones when they're actually red, like this one. And not Milano pink. Yeah, <laughs> so pretty. I'm trying to find this hidden sticker. Let's go a bit around it again. Do I want a clue? Um, not yet. Not yet. Go on then, give me a clue. It's, it's a black sticker on black. Right. Okay. Oh, there's some black to have a look at. So. hidden oh i've spotted it <laughs> i've spotted it there she is, is. stealth like stealth always represented for the dino days crew yeah i appreciate that mate i appreciate that mate so tell me what mods have you got so we'll start with the mods from yourselves because you guys are awesome and you support so many of us um little channel so i have got the clutch bypass yes which is from yourselves um, i've just done the rear beam bushes which are awesome power flex, flex yeah, yeah yeah they do they are a good mod mate they especially are. when we're doing our health checks at dino days um more often than not we're picking up on cracked rear beam bushes etc some of them we've seen hanging out on some of the diesels that we've seen and uh but some fn2s yeah they are gone so it does make a big improvement i think did you feel a noticeable difference straight away yeah and i wonder whether the noticeable difference is because the old ones were shot or whether they are just firmer than the well 13 year old rubber i i i, I didn't know that there was a potential or there was an issue with the old bushes that were on it from driving the car because i didn't know any difference sure until they were installed and i drive it and i was like whoa whoa Okay, that's Back good. Back end is so much more locked in with them. Well, there you go, Powerflex. If there was ever a car to fully sponsor, you've just heard a good thumbs up and a good review. Um, yeah, fantastic. What other mods you got, brother? So I've also got the Powerflex anti-roll bar bushes on the front. Again, fantastic, know. yeah. Um, again, that helped transform the front end. So what else have we got? We... Is it lowered? It's lowered, it's on time tense, however you want to Yeah, it. teen, I'm going with teen. teen someone, yeah. will, someone will correct someone me, but I'm going with teen. So it's lowered on, on them, which I found are really good. Um, I've it, got it looks nice. Spacers on the wheels, front and back, 17 on the front, which yeah. is from Rob Stavita. Thank you very much. He's a good lad, isn't he? He's a good lad. Um, the back ones are 20, they're M Tech ones. 
Good they're, stuff. They're really good. It's got really great lines all round. Your and brakes are looking nice. So what, what discs have you got? So when I bought the car, the discs were absolutely shot on it and I didn't have a big budget. So I bought M-Tech discs. Okay. Well, how are you, how are you finding them? I've heard a lot of horror stories about them. I also have heard a few. And but it's all about personal experience. And if at this moment in time, I can't complain about them. That's good stuff then. They're not the best on the market, I will admit, but I haven't had an issue with it. See, now I really like EBC stuff, man. I really like EBC stuff. Um, I've sold it for a number of years, EBC stuff, and I've never had an issue. But like you say, I've heard bad stuff about certain pads from EBC as well. Again, I've not had that issue with them, mm. but it's all about personal experience, isn't it? And yeah. if they're making you stop, then that's all that matters, really. They do, and I will say one big improvement that I did make was when I did, I changed the front pad. Now, the front pads are the NS400s. Yeah. And I can't compare them to the PBS, but what I can tell you is them pads made a huge difference to the stopping power. On That's it, man. It's, it's, about, it's about making a positive improvement. And if you feel they've made a positive improvement, then you can't get a better review than that. So they were really good. Um, in, inside the car, obviously I changed the double uh, the head unit. I did. I see that. It was one of my favourite videos. I changed that. And as a lot of you will know, these never fit flush. Yeah. Because the clip at the bottom on the aftermarket ones doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, so I put a little beading around there to try and hide that lip. Yeah, that's don't, done well. I don't know how I feel about the red. I don't I like the idea, so I might change that out for some black. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, um, I like it. I think it goes well, the red trim with everything else. I've had a custom gear knob. I see that, yeah. Um, limitations on the top. Really Fantastic. nice, weighted. Love it. I reckon, I reckon that's definitely something to go in a little limitation shop. So, yeah. I think that I think that's the next thing for you. I think it is, man. Whether you, when you consider that there's uh, lots of little friendly companies doing things like that, and and you've seen because you've reached out to companies on eBay uh, and yeah. they've helped you out. So you know, there's always a potential that you can do something yourself, especially when you're building a brand, which you are, and whether you think you are or not. I'm certainly following your brand. You are your brand, so I think you should keep it up. And there's got to be a goal. So um, other, other mods, um, we've got the TGR wheel bolts uh, with the red inserts. They're very pretty, mate. Now, there's been a bit of controversy, controversy about them, whether you should run them with adapters or not. Now, just to clarify for everyone, I ran them for two months without adapters, Yeah. having spoken to the company that made them, and he said, no, you don't need to run the standard wheels, which okay. is why I bought them. Yeah. A lot of people have then said, no, you need to run them. So I am actually running now the Tegra wheel um, sleeve adapter collars, whatever you want to call okay. them. Okay. They're in there. Good Again, info. hasn't made any difference. It's exact, It was exactly the same. Certainly nothing you've noticed. Nothing I've noticed. No. Well, they certainly look a lot prettier than mine. Mine are getting a bit, uh, I mean, and they were new at some point, but if you look, they're getting a bit corroded and getting a bit old. So, but maybe it's time for me to upgrade to something. Yeah, that wheel looks filthy in this camera now, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks dusty. Bit of, dust. Bit of brake dust already. Well, that was from a hoon this morning, clearly. That's what we're going to go with. So, engine mods. I believe you're on a stock exhaust. I am on a stock. The, I'll be honest, the entire engine is stock at the moment. I think we're going to have to do something about that, Andy. We haven't, we, to be honest, we haven't got round to the engine with, with it's basically funds. Well, I think I, I think I know a, I think I know a company that might help you out a little yeah. bit with that. <laughs> so yeah, we've done the spoiler. I tinted the back lights myself. Yeah, I noticed them. I've seen them a bit dirty from the drive down, but they're very dark. They are. So what I did as well for another mod is I put LED lights in across the board. Okay. I even bought some and sent them to Rob's Vita. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's a good lad, isn't he? We like we we, we like, like Rob. we do yeah, like Rob. Rob's the Vita. Yeah, I'm meeting up with Rob down at Jack Fest on the fourth of September. Fantastic. I'm on his stand. Awesome guy. He's got me in there. Yeah. So, so you put LEDs the in LED there. LED lights, and do you know what? The, in this light, you probably wouldn't tell, but when it's just because sort of, it's really bright today. Yeah, it is. But just on on, on normal. Light, I am sweating dark, my ass off here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in in the dark, honestly, there's. Even with as tinted as they are, they're brighter than standard. Awesome, man. They are, they are really bright. 
Awesome. Well, I got bullied. I'm not going to say bullied because I, he's a very, very good friend, very close friend of mine now, by Gareth at um, Expression Culture. And he did a video at Dino Days the other day, and he picked up on the fact that my headlights look like I've been in a swamp. So on my list of things to do is, and I'm the kind of person that's like, well, you know, I could spend hours cleaning them up, or can somebody just sell me a set? So here's the thing, when I bought my car, my headlights look like yours. Which is like this, like a, almost like a scotched plastic yep. clouding, bit yellow, bit dank, bit, mm, seen better days. So yours looked like this originally, did they? They looked exactly like that when I bought the car. Now I didn't do, that was, that was the first thing I did to the car was I restored the headlights. Now I didn't do a video on it, it was just before... I started to do the YouTube. That's where my headlights are at since I did it in November. Well, yours look car. really nice still. They are still a little bit dirty. Um, <laughs> but they look really, really nice. So, and if it, if it, what we're saying is here that it is possible to restore a headlight that's got that that bad. It is, and I restored mine with a ten pound turtle wax head restorer kit off eBay. Oh well, there you go then. I've got no excuses. Sorry, Gareth. I will get on it straight away. <laughs> if you haven't already, go and check out Gareth's uh, um, channel, YouTube channel. He is Expression Culture. He's the Honda guru. He's the uh, he's the man. You're not finding a nicer guy in the Honda scene. So go and check him out. Go and check his videos out and uh, enjoy his content. I'm going to press pause on this video right now because I've got one sweaty, sweaty arm holding this camera up. Okay, so we're in the shade here of your engine bay and i think we might move should we move it no i think we'll be all right so it's very very tidy and they very very tidy thank you i've seen your video on this piece yeah just a little different than what everyone else usually uses it's very nice yeah it's a clean and tidy bay and it's what you want it's what our richie would call an, an honest engine bay it's uh it's exactly functional, doing what it wants. You open the you open the bonnet and it's looking tidy. Yeah, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. And I'll be honest with you, mate, it looks a lot nicer than mine. And I've I've got spent some money on mine, and mine looks horrendous compared to that. So yeah, lovely. Do you know what I'm getting? I've seen there's a guy called Tom who's got a really nice silver one. Have you seen his car? Tom, yes. Yeah, he's got a really nice one, and he's got hybrid racing socks. He's got hybrid racing socks and they are so nice. So nice. I, yeah, I so mine, he's got some he's got some nice ones. I like their Smugan power. Very good. My god, it's hot under there, mate. It's hot, isn't it? It is hot. So again, another modification that you've made is the um is the side repeaters in the wing mirrors. And that's an LED one. It's an LED LED done by Lee. Should Carl we see if we can it? if we can make it show up in this video? I'm not sure whether we're getting. Typical. No, oh, yeah, there we go. But at, at night when it's dark, the whole lens trails up. It, it's really something to be seen at night. Something to behold. Very Japanese, isn't it? And again, there's me LED indicators on the back. If, if you guys want to want to check them out, show there, them. Is, there is a video on them with a link to it. Just gives you an idea on how bright they are, and that's in this bright daylight. Yeah, so these are smoked, like really heavily smoked, heavily smoked. and uh, it is as bright as it gets. It's probably going to be the brightest day that we're getting, isn't it, yeah, really, today? Get much today? Well, fantastic. What a car. Thanks for bringing it, man. Oh, it's an honour. It's, it's an honour to be here today with you. Well, just as a little end to my video, as I've been speaking to Andy for such a long time, we've decided that we're going to do a bit of a comparison for both videos. So this will happen in both videos that we're making of what's in your boot. So on today's challenge, we're going to compare what's in Andy's boot to what's in my boot. So I'm going to, who wants to go first? Come on, we'll do, we'll, we'll do me. Go on then, let's do you. Let's, let's show me. Let's go deep inside Andrew's boot. Sorry for this one. <laughs> what's in there, man? What's in there? Okay, well we got some work boots. So yeah, we we've got my we've got my work boots. Um, we've got a shopping bag because everybody needs a shopping bag. Too right. I am I am a sucker for believing in carrying water around with you. 
Okay, um, that makes a lot of sense. Because you, you never know. Well, I've come from a Renault Five Owners Club sort of background, so I always had a, a of, I always had a bit of water in my Renault. So a bit of a bit of brake fluid. I don't know why I still, I just never took that out. No, but it's good because if your level light comes on, you can always touch you it. You can. Up. Um, I've got some oil for the engine there. Fantastic. Which is the good stuff. Books. Yeah. Five W forty. Three W forty. I mean, five W thirty. Five. Uh, you're going to tell me now. I'm going to tell you. 5.40. Well, that's what I run. So, yeah. Cool, cool. That's what I was recommended. Obviously, so, an air freshener because you've got your smelly work boots in I there. I've got smelly work boots, yeah. So, um, air freshener. A bag with water in it and some breakfast bars. Okay. Obviously. Obviously. In case, in case you yeah. get stranded somewhere. You don't really want to look in there. That's just my... Is gym. it a bag of dildos? It's a bag of dildos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't look in no, there. That's, that's, my, that's my gym bag. Oh, at um, least you go to the gym, mate. Sometimes. Um, spare bulbs in there. I don't actually know what that is. Well, let's not open it just let's in case not. it's something. A coat, a set of boots from when I was last on a night out somewhere. Very good. And okay, well, that's do, not do, a bad do, boot. Do we want to see the... Do we want to see the... Under, under, under the compartment? Is it full of water? No. Okay, good. You you, you <laughs> set your stall out Are there. Are we ready? Yeah, this go on, is, we're this ready. This is where I hide bits that have come off the car so i've got a bag of spanners yeah there's my old everyone's got bolts. a bag of spanners um that's an old yeah, cover. yeah. it was mm -hmm. broke so i've got a new one and well you've seen i replaced that with a carbon fiber one in the engine bay and it's just lived in there ever since of course. But, but a nice dry boot thankfully well i'm i'm pretty scared of doing mine now brother uh God, i would love to edit this video and just check but we're gonna do it we're gonna do one full one full video here so there's no cheating. So let's see what we got. What we got in your car? Uh, okay. Well, I've got a coat for winter. So there's a parka of some description. I've got uh, some genuine Honda parts. So these are the uh, surrounds for the rear lights because I think that might be where my water's coming in through. I or or my damp. Yes. So on your rear, the rear of your light, they have a little surround. Uh, and then also I've got a box with my helmet in it. As you can see, I've got a helmet, which I never leave home without. I have got some, some silicon hoses in green. Very nice. I've got a, a bit of oil, as everybody has. So I'm using the Miller's Oil, the Nano Drive stuff, 5W40 full of synthetic. And there'll be a video about why this is nanotechnology at some point, which I will, uh, I will leave for another day. And then, a box that's been here for a long time and it looks like a load of happy meals but this is my stereo and my speakers that are going to go in eventually and as you can see there's a lot in there and this is a security officer who has also a, a made an appearance on the youtube so back in oh, a moment we were interrupted there by security he was a bloody nice bloke and actually really happens to be an ex honda technician uh and has a honda himself what did he say he had a wagon did he yeah he had a wagon from, uh, and it was... Uh, 80,000 miles. I think. Yeah, 80,000 miles. 17, 17 years old. 17, yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Honda, so he's he's nicely asked us to move on, but, and we've said that we will. But yes, just finishing off. Uh, yes, this is my stereo gear in here. So, uh, because that needs fitting, uh, it stayed in the boot because uh, Rob at Dream Ice and Hinkley will fit that. So, a load of speakers. Uh, in, what are they? I can't remember what, what, what they are. I'll, I'll remind you of what they are. They were, they were actually given to me. So they're going to go in. So that's my boot. It's no different to yours, man. It's full of crap. <laughs> it's full of crap. It's, it, it, it's full of crap. Yeah. So listen, man, thanks for turning up. Thanks for letting me, letting me talk to you and stuff. I really, really appreciate your channel. I really enjoy it. I love this car and I love seeing the progress that you're making. So everyone's got to go check out Limitations channel. I'm going to drop links to the bottom and things like that. And that's the end of this. That's the end of this Sunday. Um, where I've been hooning the car and then I've had a special guest. I feel blessed today and, and I think I feel blessed this week. And Well, look at that blue sky. It's all going well again. So we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. And final note, as Andy from Limitations rides off into the sunset. What, a, what an amazing guy he is. Such a good lad. Genuine, down-to-earth bloke. And that's what makes this community so amazing, isn't it? And I hope you all agree with me. There's a certain bunch, is there? There's a certain group of FN2 owners that are only interested in helping each other out, 
and he has got to be king of them. Him and Rob's the VTEC, FM3 Bill, Modfix, you know, all of them. I've probably forgotten loads, Cab of the Car Diaries. Um, so they're just awesome. And I'm so happy to be involved. And I've had a great afternoon literally talking crap with Andy for hours about FN2s, about his car, about my car, about our future plans. Yeah, what a day. Really enjoyed it. Going to do some more of that. Going to make sure that we get some more special guests on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you're interested in joining me for a drive, then please, please, please let me know. Get in touch. Doesn't matter if you've got one subscriber or you've got 10,000. I want to hear from you. Um, and on that note, as I drive off into the sunset, I'm going to hoot it. So I will catch you all later. Thanks, guys.